Hello and welcome back. I think uh, what I'm showing you right here will give you an idea what today's video is going to be about. It is the SolarCon A99 antenna. Two reasons I chose this antenna. I've read really good reviews on it. I hear it's a great antenna for the price. Does a good job. I've also read you don't have to put it up too high for it to get out. And I like that it works on 10, 11, and 12 meters with really not having to tune it. And if you choose to use it on the ham bands, it will work up to 20 meters with an antenna tuner. So I just thought this would be a great all-in-one antenna. All right, here we have it open. Uh, this is the first video I got a GoPro type camera and I'm filming with it. And first thing I noticed, big improvement over the iPhone is you get a wider angle lens, which makes it easier to frame everything in the video. In the kit here, you get an instruction manual mounting hardware and the antenna itself comes in three sections and I believe it's around 17 I think it was 17 or 18 feet once installed the first section is the diameter is a little bit bigger than I uh, thought it was in pictures it's probably about a half inch diameter and maybe a quarter inch on the middle section and then the last section um, I don't know maybe three-eighths of an inch two-eighths of an inch and each section is approximately um, I think it's around six feet so that would be about 18 feet for the total height of the antenna encased in each of these sections of the antenna is a um, piece of wire is how it works. If you shake it, you can hear the wire in the middle. And I read where people didn't think it was uh, very sturdy or built well. And to me, it looks pretty sturdy. I mean, uh, it, it looks like it's well assembled. Looks like it has a coat of varnish or some some type of sealer over the fiberglass. And from what I've read, with time, uh, the coating will wear off. And I've done it before. Grab a piece of fiberglass. I once grabbed one skiing. I was hiking in a ski area and I grabbed one on the ground, a piece of fiberglass. And... Um, I had fiberglass shards in my hand and boy is that painful so from what I've read um, maybe every couple of years or a few years you might want to put another uh, coating on this to seal the fiberglass if we go down to this end here we have the tuning rings and they're set at the factory from what I've read and from reviews um, you won't have to adjust these it's set right for the middle uh the middle of the 11 meter band so like channel 20 and like i said from what i've read it's pretty accurate so i don't think i'll have to adjust those but if you were running 10 or 12 meter band you might want to adjust those to get the swr even better now here's where we're going to mount it. We're going to go mount it in the corner of the yard here between all these trees. Now I don't have an HOA here, but I don't want a big antenna to be seen from the street. And I thought this would be a good place to put it in. I have some really tall trees in the corner here. And um, I just don't want a big antenna sticking in my yard that everyone can see. I, I kind of like to be discreet. Now I'm on the back of the shed here. And as you can see, I have a, 
couple tall trees right here. And I took, I have a metal pole here I took from an old snow shovel. And I'm going to mount it to the shed right here. I'm going to have to drill a hole in the overhang there. And I think this will be a good spot to mount it. This is the inside of the shed. So what I'll probably do is drill a couple holes where it's going to go through and then run another board in here to connect it to to make sure it's, you know, another piece of two by four to make sure it's very sturdy. And then this is where, as you can see here on the base of the antenna is where we're going to clamp the pipe here. And this worked out pretty well because the, um, the pipe I'm going to connect to is red, which kind of matches um, my storage shed out there. We have the spot marked. So let's go ahead and drill a hole. these two C clamps here and make sure we have them level drill them drill some holes through the wall and then put some big washers on the other side to uh, secure it to the wall um, I don't think I'm gonna have to need to put a 2x4 on the other side I think the walls of the shed are thick enough that it will easily support five pounds of antenna all right, I have the first bolts and the nuts on them. And then we're going to go down a few inches to about here and install the other bracket. And here it is on the inside with the brackets mounted. And then here it is on the outside. you can see here we had to put a bracket to shim it out to keep it level and if we look at the level sorry for the you can see it's level going straight up and on the side here if we look over here you can see it's level Next, we're going to open our hardware here and attach the antenna to the red metal um, pipe out on the shed. All right, we have our antenna out here and we're going to put the lock washers on it. And we're going to tighten the first section. We're going to put it on here and thread it. And we're going to use our crescent wrench here. And we're not going to over tighten it, but we're going to get it snug. Okay, that should do. And then we'll get our last lock nut here. And do the same thing, only with a half inch wrench. And again, we're not going to over tighten. We'll let the lock washer do its job. 
And then if we look here, we have the entire 18 foot antenna assembled. Okay, here comes the fun part. We need to take the 18 foot antenna, take it over to the corner of the shed over there, raise it up, and attach it with the brackets. I think my plan, notice I said plan, we'll see if it works, let's call it plan A, is to take the antenna here and set it on top of the roof so we can pivot it up without hitting the trees. So let's see if plan A works. If not, we'll do plan B, which I don't know what plan B is yet, but Hopefully all we need is plan A. So let's go ahead and uh, move it over to the shed. We're good. Well, that went easier than planned. As you can see, I have the two clamps on there, and it's pretty straight up. And I just installed the CB wire. And in fact, I think I'll put a dirty choke here. And there we put a dirty choke on it. And we're all done over here. Let's put the ladder away. Here's a shot from the yard and that blends in really nice. It's not easily seen. I doubt you'll see it from the road. I think you just see it from this angle. I took a measuring tape to it and it's nine and a half feet off the ground. I will probably get a five or a ten foot pipe and mounted higher but for now uh this will do all right something's wrong here if we look on channel one we have an swr of about two and a half on channel 40 let me calibrate it quickly we have an swr of about two and a half so something's going on here so uh let's try adjusting the rings we shouldn't have to do that but uh let's give it a try i took the dirty choke off but i notice it's just super quiet the band cannot be that quiet so i'm wondering if the coax is bad so i have a 50 foot coax and i don't think that'll reach but I do have some attachments and we'll try extending the cable over and see if that makes a difference. Okay, that made a huge difference. It was definitely the coax. We can now hear the radio. But the radio is pretty quiet right now. So let's go ahead and check our SWR now. Let's put on channel one. Let me calibrate it and we'll give it a check. Okay, let me key the mic. Look at that. Barely even moves. Let's go check channel 40. And channel 40 is right around 1.15 or one, almost 1 1.2, I think. Let's see. Yeah, just shy of 1.2. All right, let's try it with the amp on. All right, channel one. Let me calibrate it and then come on back. Just barely moving. And let's try channel 40. Let me go ahead and calibrate it. And channel 40's right around 1.3, which 1.3, which is fine. All right, so there you have it, the installation of the SolarCon A99 antenna. 
Only thing we have left to do is, I think I'm gonna raise it some more. I'll make another video on that. And as you can see, I have a short rented cable with a connector to a shorter length of coax running into the shack here. So I'm going to have to go online and order some more coax. I'll probably order a hundred feet and get a good quality coax this time. This is the coax I had the hundred feet originally and I bought this used in uh, good condition and I have a feeling it had a short in it. So that probably wasn't a good purchase. So we're going to get brand new coax and go from there. So thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I'm almost at a thousand. I'm really trying to get there. So if you like my content, please subscribe. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.